All right, hey everyone. Okay, you want a video on how to clean your lens, how to remove it from the tube, uh, clean it and reinstall it. So today we're gonna do that. And um, Jessica's been under the weather for a few weeks now, so I'm gonna attempt to do this myself. I am Ray from TTP Laser, and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. All right, so um, included with your laser, you guys have uh, got a cleaning kit, including your uh, dust blower, and also you have uh, microfiber cloth and some cleaning solution. Um, next to that, you're going to need a long, flat screwdriver, unless you've purchased one of our lens removal tools, which uh, we haven't really been advertising because we have to make them ourselves and they're not much fun to make, but uh, they are available if you want one. Okay, so there's two types of tubes we're going to talk about. This is the standard tube that comes with it. It's got the longer nozzle on it. And if you have the uh, Focus 8.2 or a one size fits all, then we have these ones we'll talk about also. For the standard lens, which everyone has, you can remove your lens from the bottom. So you need to take the top off, the nozzle off, and uh, you're going to need your flat screwdriver. Now, if you look inside, you can see your lens there and you can see there's a retaining nut. Uh, the retaining nut has two slots in it. You only need one. You're gonna put your screwdriver in there very, very carefully and just loosen, try not to scratch your, don't try. Don't scratch your lens and um, just loosen that retaining nut. Once you have it loose, uh, if you're careful and you didn't scratch your, your threads, you can usually just put your finger in there and it will turn out quite easily. If you have the Focus 8.2 system, all of these lenses go in from the top only. They don't go in from the bottom. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult with the screwdriver. And in this case, I'm going to do it with the uh, lens removal tool, which is slotted specifically to fit inside that retaining ring. So we'll just drop that in there. And of course, depending on the lens size, it could be down quite deep which is why the screwdriver is a problem some people cut putty knives if you cut a putty knife just like uh, 20 22 millimeters wide you can use that also all right just about up like I said these are actually loose you can put your finger in there and, and once you can reach it you can just turn it out by hand It's going to be a longer video than I thought. All right, it's out. Now, take your microfiber cloth in your hand and dump your lens out. Now, sometimes those lenses get a little bit stuck in there. And if that happens, you're going to have to take your nozzle off, take a Q-tip and just give the lens a little shove. Notice I dropped the lens onto the microfiber cloth. We really don't need to uh, ever touch that lens with our hand. But what I do want to show you is there is a round side and a flat side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out with my hand. <clears throat> One of the sides on the lens is rounded. The other side is flat. What you can do if you're not really sure which is which is you can just put it on a little bit of a hard surface and rock your lens. If it rocks, that means that your round side is down. If it doesn't rock, then your flat side is down. It's important to know that the round side of the lens always has to be facing up in the tube, always. So, you have your lens out. We're gonna take your dust blower, blow the dust off of it, flip it over inside your uh, microfiber cloth, blow the dust off of it. 
Now take your cleaning solution, give it one spray, and flip it over. One spray. I know I did too. Okay. You can keep it in there, clean it up. Still not touching it with my hands. I don't want to get fingerprints on it. Okay, now, I know the round side is up, so that means how am I going to get that in there? I'm going to actually flip it so the round side is facing down on the cloth. And now I can put this on top, this way, and flip it and drop it in there. The problem you're going to have with that is that your lens can roll when it's inside the tube. So you would uh, probably do best to have something, and I'll show you actually we have it on this lens tool. It sounds like we're promoting our lens tool here. I'm really not, I actually hate making these things. So if you have the lens tool, we have one end to remove. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll be joining Jessica soon. Uh, we'll, uh, one end has the, uh, to remove the nut, the other end you can take your lens and put the round side inside of here, like that. So now your round side is facing down, so we're going to put this facing up, put it on there, slide it all the way down, and there. One mistake that I made, there's a rubber o-ring in there, and this one got stuck, it didn't actually come out. The rubber o-ring, pull it out with my fingers, there, rubber o-ring, the o-ring always goes on top of the lens on the round side. So again, we're going to put the lens on the tool. Um, if you don't have the tool, just find a little dowel or something that you can rest it on and it's going to be a lot easier. Guarantee that it's not going to flip over in the tube. Put it on there. Put it back in. Now we're going to put the o-ring on top and push the o-ring down with whatever you happen to have. Put your retaining nut back on and we'll screw it back down. Or we can just pretend that I screwed it back down and kind of get on with this. So that's it for cleaning the lens. Uh, how often should you clean the lens? Well, it depends on how much money you have and how much you want to spend buying lenses. So. The more often you clean it, the better your lens is going to last. I mean, a lot of people will go even a year without having to change a lens. Some people will go two weeks. And one of the reasons, well, there's two reasons. Number one is if you uh, ever run your laser with no air, like air right off, your lens is going to last five minutes. It'll be destroyed. Some people say if you're, well, if you're engraving like metal or glass or something like that that doesn't, have any smoke, you don't need air. That's incorrect. There's still vapors will come from glass or from whatever. Those vapors are going to get through your nozzle and they're going to contaminate your lens. So always have the air on. Um, the other thing that uh, happens if you don't clean your lens every... I like to go no more than eight hours of running time without cleaning my lens. And my lens will last me for a year. So that's it. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Keep an eye out for more videos to come.